Hey guys, it's Scott here, and in this latest gameplay video, I'll be playing through a large portion of Super Neptunia RPG, which is the latest uh, Neptunia game released by Idea Factory International in the West. So, Super Neptunia RPG is available for both the PlayStation 4 and the Nintendo Switch, but as this is the first Nintendo Switch release of the Neptunia franchise, I thought it'd be best to uh, pick up the Nintendo Switch version of the game. So before jumping into the actual gameplay content of Super Neptunia RPG, you'll Super be given this uh, game settings RPG. option where you can choose between the English and Japanese audio as well as Japanese and English subtitles. And once you start at that, you'll be welcomed with the game's opening where sequence, which I've kindly removed from this How gameplay uh, video. And then after that gameplay sequence, you dive straight people. into this uh, sort of prologue element to the actual story, which also acts as English. a bit of a tutorial. Tutorial. So, for the time being, that I'll shadow. be quiet so you can enjoy the dialogue. Sink. 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 I might not know where I am, but I know exactly what I'm looking at. My intuition, my instincts, the depth of my consciousness tells me that shadow. It must be defeated! You can't leave this place. You can't leave this place. You really don't need to say it more than once. It's so annoying. Why are you so slow, Purple Heart? Black Heart, White Heart, Green Heart, too! What are you doing here? Hell if I know! You're in trouble, right? We're here to help! We may not know our enemy, but we will be victorious if we fight together! I don't really get what's going on here, but... Alright! Enough chit-chat! Let's do this! Sink. 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 So as these tutorial screens suggest, the combat mechanics within Super Neptunia RPG are quite different to the combat mechanics of other Neptunia games. So in this particular uh, game, you get given a attack gauge, or attack point gauge I believe it's called, that takes place at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Now this gradually fills up as the match or the fight goes on. And in order to actually attack an enemy character, you have to wait for the gauge to reach two or three or four. It all depends on the actual abilities of your character. So in this actual tutorial fight, all of the characters uh, that are here, which are in their HDD goddess forms, you will have to wait for the attack gauge to reach the two number. And then once that two number reaches four scales, you can then press a corresponding button above that character to start their basic attack. And obviously Bra. if your gauge is quite high, whereby you have three or four or five or six, you can then chain together combos to do even Bra. more deadly damage. Now the formation of your character does have an Thanks important for the help. factor. Hey, so, so depending on the formation you of your characters, uh, their stats and abilities can change. Whiteheart, so later on in the game, heart. you may see Neptunia uh, at the front and then Chrome at you? the back. And Chrome will act as more of a support role, whereas Neptune will act as more of an attacking role. It's quite different to the normal RPG mechanics Sink. you would expect from the other Sink. Neptunia games, but Escape it works me. quite well and it's a very They're effective uh, on unharmed? the Nintendo Switch. Sink, 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 sink! What are you? None of you can leave. Sink into the ocean of oblivion, goddesses. Nap. Mm, nap, nap. Mm. Nap. I... I can't eat anymore. For the love of Dagoos, don't make me eat anymore. Not the eggplants! Oh! <laughs> hmm? I thought this house was abandoned. 
Hey! Hey, you! Wake up! Mercy... of mercy... Nup. What did you say? Come on, get up! Ah! Uh, what now? Who are you? Uh... I'll be asking the questions! This house is marked as abandoned. I'll have to change that if someone's living here now. Please hand me your software for the municipal tax. Uh, come again? What? You need to pay your taxes. Hurry up, I have more houses to check. Taxes? What are you even talking about? Are you stupid? It's your civic duty. You've paid 2D game taxes before, right? I'm not really picking up what you're laying down, Chief. This is very suspicious. Who are you? What are you doing in this house? Me? My name's Neptune. I'm the series protagonist, and... And... Uh, huh? What am I doing here? What did you say? Huh? Um... I'm sorry. This is so embarrassing. Where are we? When are we? Who am I? Well, I know that my name is Neptune, but I can't remember anything else. Again with the amnesia, huh? What? No, I do not think it's cliché. Do you have amnesia? Well, it certainly seems that way. So you don't have your software? I'm afraid I don't. You can't pay your taxes and you don't remember anything. This is serious. You need to head to the guild. Some of my colleagues are there now. We can help. Really? But why would you do that for me? Well, it's personal, but a long time ago, my lover, she lost her memories too. What? Isn't this guy just a generic NPC? What's with the sob story? You'll be safe with us. I'll be waiting. Okay, wait. So is he not a generic NPC? I'm so confused. More importantly, uh, what's next? I really can't remember anything but my name. What should I do now? So it's from at this point in the video that we get to explore the world of uh, Super Neptunia RPG. Fully haven't really understood the story that's going off in this game, but by the looks of it, Neptune and the rest of the goddesses have been transported into another world, another universe, that focuses more on 2D and retro gaming. And at this portion, Neptune is able to freely navigate around this sort of uh, last station hub world whereby you can talk to characters, go to the shops, engage with other people, and take that part in other quests so and guilds I mean, member yeah, that activities. One was too, but that first one... I think someone was calling me. I think I knew her, too. What did I call her? Something... Heart? Oh well, let's get moving. The problem that I found with this hub world is that it can get a bit overwhelming with various different things to find and if you're playing quite far away from the actual TV screen it can be quite difficult to read the text on the screen and to see your character. In essence this is how the I game plays in most parts of the hub world or the city worlds that you visit whereby you have a very small character appearing on screen and you go from left to right on the screen with the camera zooming in at different portions of the time. You can go to higher portions of of the level and enter buildings Welcome. you basically have to stand Please in front of the doorway and press A <laughs> and then uh, in this particular hub world you can actually go up to the guild which I struggled to do at first as I didn't realise how to do it. You had to go past the save point and then as you walk into the save point you press up on the controller and it will take Neptune or whichever character you're controlling at that time up into the guild centre itself. And this type of exploration uh, takes place throughout the entirety of Super Neptunia okay? RPG. So we'll where we are at the minute return. is the inn, and as you can see, I've pressed up and then A, and I can access the inn room, which features the same artwork as every other generic room in the actual game, by the looks of things. But when you explore the actual uh, dungeon crawler elements, it takes on more of a platforming sort of exploration route 
whereby you go from uh, right to left, or left to right even, depending on which way you're going around. And Welcome. once you get to areas that look like you can go up, you can press A to go up or B to go down to the next level. But when you're exploring these areas, you can jump around in you know, traditional platforming hey. fashion. And there will be doggos uh, in these areas. And if you encounter a doggo and run into it, it will begin a fight. But with that being said, I will shut this up for the time being the and guild, let you enjoy right? the remaining 40 or so minutes of Super Neptunia RPG you made it. on the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Take it easy. You hungry? I'll bring you some snacks. Yippee! You read my mind! I thought he might be a little shady, but he seems nice. Plus, he's got snacks. You'll need a job until your memories come back. Bombix Mori can help you. Bombix Mori? You really don't remember anything, huh? That's okay. I can teach you. Make it snappy, will ya? You're very carefree, aren't you? All right, so Bombix Mori, under leadership of the kid, uh, Villain, run game industry. The kid? Forget I said that. Villain is a hard worker who just wants to see game industry flourish. She sounds like a good leader. She really is. Although, there are some that would disagree with that. They call themselves the Resistance. Watch out for them. They're not good people. The Resistance. I'll be careful. Don't worry, though. Bombix Mori is here. So, welcome. Everyone, let's toast our newest member! Uh, what? All hail Philin! All hail Philin! Okay, newbie. Time for your first tax collecting assignment. I'll give you a map. What? Couldn't my first assignment be to take care of these snacks? No, go already.
why yes. <laughs> why yes.
the kangaroo! Actually,
You're the newbie, right? You're late. What gives? I was a little busy being a hero. It's okay, though. I moved on. Whatever. We're about to begin collecting. You can just watch for now. You got it, Chief. Your last payment went above and beyond the call of duty. Lady Philin commends you. Congratulations! A round of applause for you! What's all that about? That's Lady Esther Zira. Bombix Mori's number three. Number three, huh? So she's one of the big dogs. Thanks. Here's this month's payment. A new cartridge. I hope it's okay. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much. Blessed is the citizen who pays on time. A cartridge? In this day and age? What are you saying? Cartridges are the latest and greatest in advanced technology. Cartridges are the latest in game tech? That doesn't sound right. Onward! Games, games, games! If it's not a cartridge, you're gonna be in pain. Hey you, they're calling you. Want me to switch with you and watch the girl? Oh, me? <laughs> yes, I'll leave her to you. See you. Alrighty. See ya! <laughs> what a lively greeting. You're a good one, aren't you? Aw, oh, shucks. Are you the newbie with memory loss I've been hearing about? I've already gotten a reputation, huh? <laughs> Figures! And eventually, into legend. A reputation is a strong word. It's more like a rumor. <laughs> Either way, I'm Neptune. Nice to meet ya. You still remember your name, huh? Well, the title of this game has Neptunia in it after all. Good news for you! Phyllin adored your cartridge! She gave it a four-star rating! Thank you so much. All hail Phyllin. 
villain's one of the good ones, huh? Everyone seems so happy to get her approval. I wonder. Let me give you some advice. Stay away from Bombix Mori. Because it won't be around much longer. Hey, where'd that officer go? Beats me. Maybe she took a snack break. I've never seen her. So pretty. I should find out where her office is. Oh, um, am I gonna need to talk to HR about this? All right, listen up, newbie. Lady Esther will return to base after collections. Run along and meet her there. What? Why me? It sounds, um, above my pay grade. Nonsense. It's tradition for newcomers to go meet Lady Esther. But, actually... It did seem like Lady Esther saw her just a moment ago. Who now? Eh, you'll hear this soon enough, I guess. Lady Fillin has an... Uh, obsession. Lady Esther is trying to capture a certain someone to bring to Lady Fillin. So, whenever Lady Esther sees that girl, she drops everything and tries to catch her. Which is to say, you might not be able to see Lady Esther until later. What? Yep. The number one feels differently, though. She just wants to, uh, destroy her. Destroy her? You know, Lady Esther might return sooner than I think, so you should head to base.
I gotta walk this whole way if Lady Esther might not be there. This is hazing! Hey, they dropped something. A book? Hey, Lady! You dropped your book! 
You? Why are you... Huh? Do I know you? That's right. But why... Hey, what are you doing here? Um, well, I've been sent out this way by Bombix Mori. I'm a new recruit and... You're with them? No, 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 that's no good. You need to come with me right away. What? I found her! Over here! Oh, the Bombix guys! Oh, I hope they brought snacks. Hey, did you bring any snacks? <sighs> they caught up to me. You! You're the reason Lady Phil and acts so weird. You're gonna pay! You're the enemy of the Bombix Mori! Our orders are to bring you back alive. But we all know that's not gonna happen. Why are they so mad? What did you do? Why's the book glowing? Shoot! Give me that! <sighs> Hiyo! There's the target! Come on, time to bring you in for Lady Fillin! Damn it, the last person I want to see right now. Chaco Man, prepare to attack! Vroom! <sighs> hey, Nep. Hmm, I don't get what's going on. I think I should just head back to base. How did that lady know me? Is it because I'm a hero? Yeah, right. Who am I kidding? Bombix Mori kept talking like bad guys, though. I don't get it. Like a kangaroo! Jump! What's wrong?
Take that! 
the kid. I mean, Lady Fillin. She's a very wise leader. Beautiful, too. Did you know blowing into a cartridge before playing it is a folk remedy for bad luck? Pay St. Gliss's 16 shot can destroy buildings instantly. Three Musketeers is too on the nose, isn't it? How about the Gold Third? She got away again! You're back! No luck, huh? Huh? Oh, you were with the target! You're the newbie, right? Yep! Neptune's the name! Nice to meet you, Neps! Can I call you Neps? Hey, can I ask you something? Oh, what is it? Our little target was chummy with you, right? How do you know her? What? I don't know her. Right? I don't remember that lady, but she did seem to know about me. Is that so? She seemed to think you were pretty important, Neps. Hmm. You think so? <laughs> well, I am pretty cute. <laughs> I did think that, too. Hey, I have a really good idea. You do? Yeah, I'll call it the Nep Lure. You're going to be the bait. We'll leave you out in the wild until she shows up. It's only a teeny bit dangerous. I don't like this, not one bait. I Aw, but it's for Bombix Mori. Come on, newbie, don't you want to make us proud? No, thanks. I think I'm too new. Can't I be reassigned to the snack cart? Uh, do we have a snack cart? I guess you could be a snack for the monsters. Great! How can you say that? All right, grab her! Let's go! Yes, ma'am. Ah! This is so... Concentrate on the enemy. Roger! Hit him where it hurts! Not bad. I choose! I got it! Crit! Go! Here 
I go. That's what I was aiming for. Someone's persistent. Lady Esther! All right, Neptune. This is our chance to escape. Oh, my name! Stay close to me. Uh, right. Ah, I thought I was gonna die! Don't let them get away, everyone! Let's go! Yes, ma'am. Wait, wait. Give me a sec. We don't have time for that. We have to keep moving. But I can't walk anymore. Can we take a break, please? Good grief. We'll keep it short. We'll be fine for a little while. Phew. I'm beat. No thanks to Bombix Mori. Ugh. I thought they were the good guys. This must be the fate of a hero. I told you not to get involved with them. But... The snacks. No money, no memories, sure. But how do you expect me to live without the munchies? Listen, Neptune. Hey, it's not fair that you know my name and I don't know yours. It's Chrome. Okay, listen, I understand what you're going through. I do, but... Ah! The mysterious one who knows me more than I know myself. Are you friend or foe? Okay, seriously, calm down and listen to me, Neptune. But I'm hungry. Maybe I should just go back to Bombix Mori. All right, I get it. I'll feed you. Let's head to the tavern. Oh, really? I mean, if it isn't too much trouble. Yippee! You haven't changed a bit. It's important. 
important to save often. So that's pretty much an idea of what you can expect from Super Neptunia RPG on the Nintendo Switch. Now I'm just going to leave it playing for a bit and go to the guild and allow you to continue to the next part of the story. Can we get another round? Let's get some pudding going too! Slow down. What's the rush? It's not like anyone's going to steal your food. You can't help it, can you? Okay. Well, here. Mm. That book from earlier. Yeah, it's Histoire. Histoire? That's its name. Oh, how odd. You know, this book was glowing when I met you. I'm not crazy, right? Why did it do that? Histoire does that to let me know I've run into an ally. I don't need it anymore, though, so I'm giving it to you. Whoa! Really? I'll take good care of it, promise! Allies, huh? Just what a hero needs. It better not bring me any wimpy party members. What are you talking about? Anyway, I need you to listen. Bombix Mori. They're evil. Anyone who opposes them meets a terrible, violent fate. A violent fate? Oh dear! Hey! I heard their leader. Villain, was it? I heard she's obsessed with you. Well, it's not what you think. It's... we have a lot of history. I see. Hey, once you're done eating, we need to go to the weapons shop. Huh? Why? I'm low on money, so we're going to the guild to find work. We'll need weapons. Um, I'm a hero, so I'm gonna sit this one out. I'm sure you understand. What? The life of a hero is a life of blood, sweat, and tears. You need to work. Really? Yikes! I think I need a new career path. I could be a... jester? 